Hello everyone and welcome to GEOG slash EME 432. My name is Dan Casper. I will be your instructor this semester. Um, I'm really excited to teach this course. Um, it's actually the first time for me, um, but I deal with energy policy uh, you know, on a regular basis. So uh, I'm really excited to be able to dig into this content with you. It's a great course, really well prepared by um, Brandy Robinson, uh, full-time faculty over energy and sustainability policy. So I wanted to accomplish a couple of things today. Um, number one, I just introduce myself, right? Uh, you're gonna be getting messages from me, uh, there'll be announcements, communication and so forth, and it's nice to have a face, I think, to the name and, and uh, the communication. Hopefully we'll have the opportunity to uh, interact via Zoom later in the semester, but I'll, I'll you know, address that as the course progresses. Um, I'm not gonna go over all the course content. You can all see that online, obviously. It's, it's already posted. Um, but I do want to stress a couple of things. Number one, um, how important this topic is. Um, I assume that most of you are kind of into energy policy and understand its importance, but we're not going to establish a sustainable society without the right energy policy. It's, it, it's uh, absolutely essential, uh, largely because energy policy is uh, intimately tied to climate policy. So you see as we go through the course, it's yes, it's an energy policy course, but it's necessarily also a climate policy course. You can't extricate the two. I mean, they're just, they're tied together. So um, these are two very contemporary, very important topics. Uh, in addition to that, as you probably know, it's a very exciting time in terms of energy policy, and specifically energy policy funding. Um, the Inflation Reduction Act passed this year, and then the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act passed last year uh, providing unprecedented amounts of funding into the energy policy space. I mean, this is, I mean, literally in, unprecedented in, in U.S. history to have this much uh, funding coming out. Um, and so you will have the opportunity to really dig into those two specific acts, but also you know other other aspects of energy policy. But we really to focus on we want to focus on things that that are that are really happening, and those two are happening right now. I mean, they, most of the money hasn't even been, or the money, excuse me, hasn't even been dispersed yet. Um, it's earmarked and all that, but so so it's really exciting to to dig into to some policies that are that are very fresh, very new, and actually happening right now. Uh, secondly, um, you know, our our final project, I, I want to address that because that's a really big part of the course. Um, the the exact details of of our interaction with this organization are, are a little bit up in the air, um, but we're going to address um, the potential for using in Inflation Reduction Act and Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act funding um, by a local nonprofit. Um, so I live in the state of Delaware, and um, so I'm, I'm in that space quite a bit, and, and this nonprofit uh, works in um, low-income, low-income you know, advocacy and issues in general, but they do a lot of low-income energy-focused issues, so energy justice, and um, which is of course climate justice, um, and so it's really, I think, an exciting opportunity to do some analysis for somebody that may actually apply your ideas. Um, this money's coming out. You give them some suggestions on how to how to access it, and by in doing that, you necessarily have to figure out where the funding is going, who's going to be in charge of the funding, who, you know where the RFPs are coming out, and, and all that sort of thing. So you get to really dig into policy, sort of writ large, but um, how how can you really apply it um, at a local level? Um, and you see all the connections between the local, state, and federal. So this is an exciting opportunity um, to work to to, to provide some advice to them. Uh, the goal, uh, hopefully, is to have a couple of meetings with them um, and really get to know like who they are and what their goals are and some of the barriers that they face and, and, and so forth. Um, and then provide an, a summary of, of advice for them um, for how they can position themselves for this funding and take advantage of all the other funding sources that are available, which are actually, there are plenty of them. Um, so that's exciting. Um, you may be able to help out uh, an organization that's not only addressing energy and climate policy, but also low-income policy. Um, you probably know that both of these acts have some 
um, uh, very um, specific justice components, and you'll learn more about that as well. So that's exciting. I wanted to kind of bring that up, and it's it's going to be a little bit fluid, um, but um, hopefully you have the opportunity to meet with them via Zoom. Um, I also want to be clear, it, and this will all be outlined in in the assignments and the descriptions. But um, if we have a, if we have a Zoom meeting and you can't make it. I'll just record it and post it um, because this is obviously an asynchronous class, so I, you know you're not required to be anywhere at any point. Uh, but it, it will be you know essential that you at least watch the video, and, and hopefully you can as many people as possible can make the meetings um, to ask questions and you know really dig in. Um, and lastly, I want to go over the importance of communication. Okay, communication, absolutely essential. We are all real people with lives outside of the course. I get that. Your life does not, most likely does not revolve around the course. Maybe it's that great and it will, um, but uh, that's, sadly, it's unlikely. Anyway, I understand that things get in the way. Kids get sick. You get sick. You have to, you have to travel for work, whatever the case is. Just communicate. That's all I ask. Um, I'm a reasonable person. I'll, I'll, I'll provide reasonable accommodations for you and, and we'll try to work something out if you're going to be late on an assignment or whatever if you if, but you need to do that while it's happening or before it's happening and try to anticipate if possible like look at your schedule is it going to be really 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 busy this week you're, you're moving you're traveling give me a heads up um, about that uh, because if you do it after the fact I mean if it's two weeks or three weeks after and you know, you say, well, yeah, I, I was sick that week, so I couldn't do the assignment, and then it hurts your grade, um, or you know, compromises your ability to complete the course or whatever. I mean, at that point, two or three weeks later, there, there's probably nothing I can do. Um, so work with me if, if something comes up. I'm, um, you know, I always try to come up with a reasonable solution to the problem. Um, of course, you don't make it a habit, but um, life happens, and I understand. And I'll try to do the same. Um, you know, I have kids. Things happen. Um, there'll be times where I may fall behind on grading, and I'll try to communicate that to you as well, and not just disappear. So, um, it's it's just so essential to communicate. Um, so I appreciate it that, that you're doing that. And that's really it. Um, you know, I wanted to go over the importance of this topic. Uh, try to get you a little excited. You know, we have this real world application potentially um, for your final project. So I hope you take it really seriously, and really not only uh, try to achieve the learning goals, but try to achieve the goal of, um, you know, helping helping people um, apply um, energy policy and climate policy in a way that that does you know achieve some of the goals that we need to achieve. Um, and also, again, just communicate. Um, and um, I actually look forward to your communication. Um, frankly, I don't get to communicate with you enough. Um, so, um, you know, with the asynchronous online, I'm just kind of sending emails. So, you know, if a phone call is, is fine, a Zoom session is fine, um, I'll try to, uh, you know, make my time available as much as possible. Um, all right, well, I look forward to um, working with you all this semester, and I hope your semester gets off to a good start.